Uh, Chris, for you being a senior on, on an offensive line when, line with a lot of young guys, um, what has that been like for you? I know you've, you're a leader anyway, but especially with, with some young guys next to you. Uh, I mean, it's been, it's been fun for me. Um, like uh, just over the years, learning everything I learned, being a young guy, and then now I'm in that role where I'm having to teach and I'm having to, uh, you know, lead. Um, it's been fun. Guys have been stepping up. And um, just uh, this group of guys, we, guys, we just got someone special uh, in our offensive line room that is just, uh, it's just easy about leading. So, like I said, it's been fun for me. Have you seen a difference um, just with the experience that they've already gotten in, in these last two games? Oh, yeah, definitely, tremendously. Uh, coach talked about um, how, you know, the biggest improvement you'll see on the football team is between week one and week two. And I think last week we definitely, um, I think we definitely uh, answered the challenge that was being put on us to uh, come out there, perform better uh, after a bad week, or after a bad first game, I should say. But um, I think those guys stepped up. Um, they learned that, you know, a lot of them getting their first reps, um, that the pace of the game is a lot faster than what they probably intended. And, you know, that they got to really bring it every day in practice. They got to come to learn. They got to be prepared. And, um, like, they really just have to have a different mindset, you know. And so I think they applied that well uh, this week, and that was probably the biggest change. Do you remember what that was like for you being, you know, when you're first out there in the game? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, your first game, you know, I'm not going to lie, your nerves are trembling a little bit. But, I mean, for me, um, just like just getting all that, just getting all the bad out the way, that was how it was for me. But, um, obviously, I feel like that's how it kind of was for us, like, this year. But, uh, like I said, you know, they answered the challenge, they stepped up, and they learned, and that's what, that's what you want to see. Chris, in that first game you ever played, what, at what point did it get fun for you? <laughs> uh, was when we won, that's when it was fun. Uh, with this game Saturday being such a complete team victory, you know, everybody, special teams were good, defense was good, offense was balanced, which was critical. I mean, how, how much more energized are y'all coming out of that game for this week of practice? Well, you know, um, coming into this week of practice and being understanding that we're one and one, you know, we had – a lot of lessons that we learned in week one and being able to shine and show that what we're really capable of as a team, week two, you know, I feel like that sort of gives us a boost going into week three. Um, any team with confidence can come out and win and I feel like us carrying that into this week, it'll definitely increase our chances of being successful. Yeah, that's well said. Just carrying momentum. Uh, like you said, uh, obviously week one didn't go how we wanted to, but, uh, you know, we uh, kept our heads down. Uh, grinding hard practice, and uh, you know, week two we was able to put it all together. And like I said, just carrying that momentum is the biggest thing going into this game. So I mean, y'all did everything but take a train after the game to get home. <laughs> so uh, and it was a brutally long night. So, but I mean, the fact that you won, you played well, you won. Yeah. I mean, what was that long trip home like? Um, you know, it was different. We hadn't won a away game since 2016, so. That was a really important game for us, and we knew that going into San Jose State. So after the game, it was more like a, a feeling of relief. You know, we finally got a win. We're back on track. We have our confidence back. You know, our offense is moving the ball. Our defense is stopping the ball. You know, we're working together as a team, as long as or along with special teams. So that confidence, it, it felt good going coming back home. Chris, I'm thinking like I guess I'm. Th I watch too many movies. I'm thinking y'all are all uh, horse playing and, and celebrating on the flat back. You're probably all asleep, right? Oh yeah, definitely. It was real late too. Um, I think before the plane even took off, I was uh, knocked out. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Chris got a hold of some film, and I mean that's the thing about our guys. You know, after we win, we have a 24-hour rule, and I feel like we sort of cut that rule down. You know, we accepted our win, but. As soon as we got back on the plane, I looked over and Chris Ivey was on his iPad watching film, you know, critiquing himself. And of course, I had to get seconds after him using his iPad, of course. But, you know, I felt like we, we handled it pretty well and we're going into this week with a lot more confidence. Uh, Coach Montgomery in here a little bit ago was talking about how OSU is just the next game and it's just the next step. And, and I'm thinking, I bet that's not what he says to his players. But, I mean, don't you guys go into the week with a different feeling? Doesn't it feel different, a big game, a big home game like this? Yeah, it's only a big feeling because it's the next game. Uh, I mean, when we got to play Wyoming, the next game was gonna, we're going to feel the exact same way. And I mean, it's funny you say that because, uh, you know, Coach, uh, Coach Mine, he actually does preach that to us every day, you know, that we uh, we can't focus on the next opponent. we got. We got to focus on ourselves. 
And so uh, when we do that, you know, you can see we can work well as a team if we just focus on ourselves, focus on what we have to do, and not necessarily who we're playing or uh, the name on the jersey that we're playing. Agreeing with Chris, Ivey. we're just taking it week by week. You know, um, whatever opponent that we have that upcoming week is going to be the main focus. And regardless if it's OU, OSU, or another team across the country, you know, we're just going to focus on the details and critique ourselves and make sure we bring everything that we can to the table. But you recognize the statement potential. On One more time, I'm sorry. You recognize what kind of statement potential there is for you guys on Saturday. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. You know, they're OSU is our neighbors. Um, I'm familiar with a couple of their athletes. I've worked out with a couple of their athletes. I'm sure a lot of our guys are really familiar with players on their team, and it's a rivalry, you know. You walk around town or you walk around Oklahoma, period, you mainly see burgundy or orange, and we're not big fans of that. I know I'm not a big fan of that. I know our team probably isn't a big fan of that. So, you know, we're going to prove a statement, and we're going to bring everything we can to the table to make sure that we – Bring our best. Who have you worked out with, Travis? Uh, I want to say Delonte Scott. His last name is Delonte Scott. He's a defensive end for them. I mean, I haven't, you know, like worked out, worked out with him, but I'm familiar with him. We've talked a couple times. He's a defensive end just like me. So yeah, I've talked to his twin brother that plays at SMU too. So they're all from the Dallas area. Yeah, right. If if the key here is in self critiquing and worrying about yourselves. Uh, how do you think you're playing two weeks into the year? Just grade yourself for a second. Um, I think I I think I came out pretty well versus Michigan State uh, last week. This past week versus San Jose State, you know, I feel like I've carried that momentum over. And this week, it being a home game, I, I want to bring even more out. So I'm going to bring everything that I can to the table. And every week, I want to get better. You block him a little bit in practice? Every day. Yeah, what's that like? Man, that's it. <laughs> Man, it's a challenge uh, going both ways. Me and Trevor, we we know each other for five years, and um, every day we know we got to bring. We got every day we have. We know we have to bring to the table when going against each other. Um, that's what's fun about competing. Competing women, it's like you know, uh, it's, it, you know, he's your brother, man. You know, he knows uh, what's gonna make you better, and you know what's gonna make him better. So, you know, it, it's fun. It's fun for both of us. Everyone, you've known him as long as you have. Everyone talks about what he looked like when he got here. Can, can you? <laughs> what's your take on that? What do you remember? Just how? Man, I I, I will say this. Uh, I first met him on my recruiting visit here, and I thought he was a basketball player for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, uh, no, nah, he's definitely came a long way, and and I uh, I could be more than proud of him as a as a close friend of his. Um, we all have, you know. It's just uh, it's just good seeing your brother Sean. Are you guys roommates? No. no. <laughs> Chris, the offense played with great pace in the first half, especially against San Jose State, such that they had to call two timeouts. <laughs> Their defense had to call two timeouts just to take a deep breath. So how does that make you guys feel, and how much fun is that, and how hacked off are you when the other team calls a timeout <laughs> and you guys are rolling? I mean, it's good. You know, we're moving the ball like that, moving with tempo. Uh, that's what we want to do. That's the game plan. And so, uh, you know, if we feel like we can get the opposition to call a timeout so they can catch a breath, I feel like uh, it's good in the sense that, you know, we know we're, we're following the game plan, we're doing our job uh, using our tempo and stuff. But uh, I do get a little upset because it's like, you know, we want to stay on the field, we want to keep going and, uh, you know, keep wearing them down. But, uh, you know, obviously it's nothing you can do about it. But, you know, when that timeout does come, it's like, it's like yeah, now, now we kind of gotten where we want them. Um, we just got to keep uh, – it doesn't do anything but motivate us, really. Yeah. Uh, Travis, a lot of talk going in this game. Obviously, he's on OSU's offense. Um, do you guys take any offense to that? I mean, you guys are going to be the best defense they've played, I mean, by leaps and bounds. So do you guys take a little offense like, hey, man, we, we can step up and play with these guys? Um, you know, we, we observe and examine everybody's offense that we play, of course, that week. So, you know, we brought our all to Michigan State. We brought our all to San Jose State. And, you know, I feel like we're going to bring all the – Oklahoma State also, you know, regardless of who they have on offense, what their guys on offense have done to opposing teams, you know, they, they're going to have to go through us at the end of the day. And I feel like our defense brings a great chip, uh, a great level of, you know, dominance to the game. And I feel like we're working really hard. You know, we continue to crit critique ourselves, as I've been saying. and. Um, you know, we're just going to leave it all out on the field. You know, our linebackers, defensive line, defensive backs, we're all just going to leave it all out on the field as we have every game. 